project was for us to um, create a new strategy uh, for mental health in Essex, along with uh, partners in the system, particularly in the clinical commissioning groups in health. Experience has taught me that um, you can come up with the greatest strategies, the best solutions, the outcomes that you think people need to achieve, but unless you're involving people that um, have lived experience of mental health, it doesn't really make any difference because they're the ones that really need to be informing what supports them in their recovery. So we thought actually working together to produce a strategy would be a really timely and powerful thing to do. Very often when in the past when we've talked about service user involvement we've had to go to services that we already commission and there's always a backstory there. We felt that Healthwatch Essex were in a unique position in terms of their independence and also their networks within the system. The advantage of talking to Healthwatch was to try and get a range of people with different backgrounds to help us inform the strategy. And there was also the offer um, and the creativity in terms of supporting people to fulfil that function. The Healthwatch Essex Ambassador Programme enables service users to work alongside commissioners and other professionals to ensure that lived experience is at the heart of all decision-making. Using our flexible and accessible approach, we recruited, trained and supported 16 volunteers with direct experience of mental health services in Essex. Well, the group of ambassadors, when we first met, none of us knew each other at all. We've all had varied experience in mental health from sort of eating disorders, depression, child abuse, all sorts of different areas. We set them various tasks um, along with colleagues at, at Healthwatch who were able to kind of frame those tasks in a way which, which was understood by everybody. Um, so they would go out and fact find, they would visit services, um, conduct focus groups, questionnaires, interviews. Um, sometimes that would be on particular topics, um, other times it was more generic. Healthwatch Essex um, did provide some training for us. We did a course on commissioning and about lived experience. And that was really useful as we then understood what we were talking about or what we were listening to. All the meetings that we come to have always been very much involved in us leading it and then kind of just facilitating it, I suppose. The mental health ambassadors actually did some of the writing of the strategy and that was really, really important because um, whilst we had people who were able to write strategy, what we didn't have was that lived experience. Lived experience can shine a light on issues that professionals just do not see, uh, can highlight areas that are not looked at, uh, can highlight areas where there is very poor service um, and often really put forward things that people don't want to hear. Um, but also I think it's very importantly um, for people with lived experience to share positive experiences. And as a result of that, um, particular features were kind of built in, so um, ambassadors uh, were able to make sure that it was stronger around things like eating disorders, um, there was bits in there around um, child sexual exploitation, which featured as a result of, um, of their input. ASD and autism was kind of strengthened. So there were several parts of it where their input, their feedback really made a difference. And I was really delighted that the, for the first time, the five-year strategy did include a commitment to survivors, adult survivors of child abuse. It was really important to have Healthwatch involved in the launch of the strategy um, because they helped facilitate that. It was predominantly about the mental health ambassadors talking about their experience and their involvement um, and that is just so much more powerful than having a load of suits standing at the front talking. So um, for them to share that experience and talk about how they worked with us and co-produced that strategy was amazing. That was kind of a really inspiring kind of really empowering thing for me to actually go this is my story and this is how you've made me feel and this is how I want to change. The impact of involving people with lived experience has been quite profound. For me it was about trying to make a difference and empowering change and it's something that was able to give my views to be able to shape a service that I wanted to be different. My thing has always been I don't want anyone to ever be in the situation I was in when I was 17. I definitely recommend getting involved as an ambassador. Uh, it's a way that you can use your own experience to help the people who commission the services know what's actually going on at the ground level. Overall, it was, a, it was a positive experience of working with the commissioners and with Health Watch. The more and more we spoke about lived experiences, people were understanding that 
you need to listen to the people that use the service. They are the people, and that's not just within mental health, that's within the services across anything. One of the, the tips I would say to anyone who's getting lived experience involved is to manage expectation. Um, these things are very cumbersome. If we're trying to change the NHS and social services and all those sorts of things, these are big organisations. Co-production is really difficult and really challenging. Actually, you need to invest quite a lot of time in it. And if you're not going to take it seriously and you're not truly going to work in partnership alongside people, then it becomes tokenistic and it loses its value.